Today, I've got a very special putter, something that so many people have been asking me about. This is the LAB, the Lie Angle Balance Direct Force 3. It is one of the strangest looking putters I've ever seen, but we're gonna put it to the test here. I'm gonna tell you how this works, why it looks so strange, and we'll see if we can actually make some putts with this thing. The first super cool thing about this putter is just how you get it set up for you. This thing is fully customized for my game, and I did that by submitting a video to the engineers at lab. Literally, they analyzed my putting stroke and they came up with a number of recommendations, including these weights that you see here. These are customized for me, so you don't wanna be messing with that because it's exactly the way it should be for me. The lie angle is for me, the shaft and this grip is for me as well. I'm gonna tell you about this technology here in just a second, but first I'm gonna stroke a couple putts and see if I can get used to this thing. These are literally the first strokes with this putter is I'm going to take about a seven, eight foot putt here and just see if I can get used to the feel of this thing and the look of this thing. First putt with the new putter, let's see what we do. I'll tell you what, it, it came off the face super hot. That was actually really nice. And I think if I get the line right here, we may have a winner. Ooh. It's somewhere right in between those two. Like that. This grip is the first piece of technology that to me is so different from everybody else. And if you can see this, literally this grip is offset two degrees from the shaft. And in fact, the way this shaft is, is kind of caddy cornered into this grip. It's off axis. The grip looks straight, but the shaft is actually being forward pressed. And that's gonna allow you to put a nice roll on the ball. A big part of the technology behind these lab putters is the fact that the lie angle is matched to you. My particular lie angle, when I customized my putter, they told me is 69. Say what? Yeah, 69. <laughs> I'm not joking, but that's just what it was. For you, it'll be different, and you'll literally have a drop-down screen on the website where you can choose that based on what the engineers told you. This is not something I would take a guess at, but let me show you why that's important. So when I get into my normal setup, which is just for me a little bit towards my front foot, that putter, as you can see, is lying flat to the ground. The heel's not up, the toe's not up. It's completely lie angle balanced to me. And again, it's gonna help you keep those putts on plane and it's going to prevent that shift left and right with the putter face. A very, very comfortable experience where you literally get this putter and it's set up for you. Now, one thing they did actually suggest for me, I was playing a 35 inch putter and now this is 35 and a half inches. They thought that that would help me get my eye line a little bit better. So we're taking their advice here and let's see how it works. But it's just so comfortable because I don't have to feel like I've got to change my hand position. I've just got it in a nice comfortable spot. Oh yes. Comfort factor is a huge thing and it just makes it that much easier to really feel confident standing over the ball with this putter. I love it. Cool thing about Lab, when you're building a Direct Force 3 putter or any of their putters, you can customize so many things. And for me, one of the cool customizations was literally the alignment lines that you see here on this putter. So this is kind of their stock setup and I've never used this before, but it's so nice because you basically have a 90 degree angle of where that face is on plane and then where you need to put the ball. I love this little T-shaped alignment, but you can choose a number of different options. I like three dots sometimes. There's about 20 or 30, I don't know. There's a ton of different ways you can customize just the alignment, but again, I just really like the way this one suits to my eye. This putter is hot and it's gonna do a lot of the work for you in terms of keeping it on plane, but I wanna see if I can really start to dial in distance because these are the toughest putts for anybody. We gotta keep the three putts off the scorecard. It's hard to explain, but there's almost a compression-like feeling when you hit this thing. And not only if I hit it in the middle, but if you hit it towards the toe or the heel, it's very forgiving and feels very good coming off the face. Need a little bit more speed there. And I kind of missed my line, but hopefully that's too puttable. One more, let's see if we can nail it. That's pretty good, I think. 
All right, so in just a few putts, I can start to really get my bearings with this thing. We've got her surrounded. Let me see if I can knock these in. Okay, these are the putts you gotta make for the club championship when the money is on the line. This putter is making it look, it's not, but this putter makes it look a lot more effortless. So another piece of technology that most people if you're like me at least, don't think about, is the shaft itself. Now, with a putter shaft, you want it to pretty much be as stiff as possible. But what's interesting is there are some very, very fancy shafts you can get with your lab putter. This is the Acra shaft. This is actually a $100 upgrade with Lab Golf, but it's made of a composite material. It promotes extra stability and a softer feel. And I've got to say, I actually have felt that softer feel. It almost feels like an iron when you flush it. That's where it feels. And it doesn't matter if I'm hitting it towards the heel of this putter or the toe of this putter or the middle of this putter, I'm still getting that nice soft feel. And a lot of that is with this particular shaft. But again, that rigidity is also gonna just help you keep those putts online. Another thing I wanna show you here is the actual balance in this lie angle balance. As you can see, this putter is balanced at a 90 degree angle facing the hole or facing you guys right now. And that's the crux of this technology. No matter how you hold the putter, that face is square to target. This is a good drill. You kind of start short and you work your way back. Just getting used to the feel and the speed of this face. I love it because it just feels like the putter's doing all the work. As long as I line it up properly, and as long as I get that speed right, we've taken at least one variable out of the equation. And if I'm missing those, I'm not missing them by much, as you can see. So we talked about the shape of this putter and it is very different, but it is how you get that lie angle balance. But they did manage to also put some usefulness with this circle into the design, because literally, if you're playing with some friends and they are gonna be generous with you, you just pop it down and you can pick that gimme right up. All right, so I've got a real long putt here. This is over 50 feet. So again, with any new putter, it's going to be really important. Can you just dial in that long distance? We don't want to have three putts. Again, I feel like that was pretty good for speed. Not bad for accuracy. It broke a little bit later than I thought, but obviously having the lie angle technology, it takes away that one of those main variables, which is going to be keeping that putter on plane. If we can take that away, then we can really start to focus on other things like speed and obviously getting the direction right. So let me see if I can improve on that putt. And that one's going to be a much better result. Get in the hole. Oh. All right, I got to try one more after that. I hit that one off the toe and then we're going to find out, did I actually lose distance? No. In fact, <laughs> it ended up being a little bit better. So Again, hitting it towards the toe, towards the heel, you're gonna have very similar distance results. So it's again, taking away just another variable there in terms of your consistency of the strike. I'm starting to fall in love with this thing. This is the first one here. This is the longest one. It's about three feet coming back. I think it's just inside the left. Let's see if we get that right. Yep. All right, so three, two putts. That's what you like to see, especially when you're using a putter for the first time. Everything about this putter's high end, including the cover, uh, got the nice fur and this leather, super premium. Double locking there magnetically. Yeah, it works. Wish it said let's play through, but it works. All right, I'm getting a bunch of balls here because I'm going to show you a drill that I like to use, especially when I'm warming up. Obviously, we're on the golf course here, but this is something you can do on the putting green. And I think it was Phil Mickelson I believe that I learned this drill from, but basically I like to drop a number of balls in a semi-circle, four or five feet, something like that, something I can feel comfortable with, and just see if I can really start to dial my stroke in, of course my speed on the putts that really matter the most. And I mean, you could measure this out, but I'm not actually gonna measure them because I kind of want different putts. I wanna be able to try to read them. I wanna see if we can make a good number of these. Like five out of seven would be a good number.
Ooh, that's one. <laughs> it just went in the side door there. Just slipped in the right side there. Yeah, okay. We're two for two. I'm gonna fix the flag stick. Three for three. All right. As you can see, I'm getting used to this putter pretty quickly. When I feel like I don't really need to change, oh, if I hit it, that it was in. When I feel like I don't need to really change my stroke to match the putter, that's when <laughs> you get that comfort factor with something. I feel like I could get really comfortable with this quickly. I think I missed the break there, but <laughs> we got the little tap in. <laughs> All right, so right now, what are we? Uh, three for five. Let's see if we can end strong here. These are actually a little bit longer, and that's totally fine. Oh, uh, we're going to end on a good note here. Yes, sir. <laughs> well, five out of seven with one getting bounced in. That ain't bad, right? Like I said, their comfort factor with this putter is already there. And that's super exciting to me. Honestly, right now I'm feeling like I may have just found my new weapon. So yeah, that is the Direct Force 3 putter. I've got to say, I think I might be converted. It takes a little bit of time of getting used to, especially to my eye, but once I did, I feel like I've really got this thing dialed in, not only for keeping it online, that seems to be all the putter, but now even just being able to judge the speed of those putts, visually it could be very jarring for people, but if you can get over that and you can really buy into the technology, I think, this is about as good as any putter that I've ever used. Love this grip. That is a piece of technology, a piece of engineering I had never knew would even exist, but I could see using this grip on any type of putter. It doesn't have to be a lap putter to get those hands forward. In terms of the face, the feel off the face, like I said, I felt like no matter where I hit it on the club face, I wasn't losing distance. We saw that in those long putts. I felt like every putt I stroked, I was on plane. And if I missed, it was only because I aligned it wrong or maybe just didn't hit the speed right. So the more variables you can take out of the process, the better your putting is gonna be. That's what this lab is all about. And I gotta say, I think it absolutely does work. Highly recommend if you can get yourself to a PGA Tour Superstore, maybe your local golf shop or a buddy who's got one of these, just give it a shot. It'll take some getting used to, but I think once you do, you're really gonna like what you see. There's a very good chance, very good chance, this one's going in my bag this year. I've got a couple more putters I've got to review, so make sure that you are subscribed. You don't wanna miss any of those videos. And I'll catch you back here soon on another edition of Let's Play Through.